Hello everyone, in this set of videos, we would be exploring various BigQuery interview questions that you might face and their answers. So without further delay, let's jump right in. So our first topic for today is cost optimization techniques in BigQuery. First up, make sure your data sets are in the same location as your customers. It reduces latency and speeds up your queries. Point two. Load your data using Avro or Parquet formats and go for the compressed versions. This saves space and speeds up your processing. Need a quick look at your data? Use the preview option instead of running fully fledged queries. It's faster and saves cost. Partition your data based on your use case like integer range or date fields. And there is even a trick for partitioning on string columns and we'll cover that in another video. Point 5. While clearing out tables, use truncate instead of delete. It's faster and avoids extra cost. Point 6. Place your manipulation on the right side of the comparator. For example, when you are running a select star from a table where data is greater than or is equal to the current date, always use manipulation on the current date and not on the left hand side. Point 7. Cluster your table based on fields which have high cardinality meaning there are very few repeated values. It speeds up your query performance. Point 8. Filter before you join. So applying filters before joining tables. This is called predicate pushdown and it makes your query more efficient. Point number 9. Avoid select star. Only select the co columns you need, not a select star. This reduces data processing and speeds things up. Point 10. Use caching and materialized views. Use caching and materialized views for frequent run queries. This store pre stores pre-aggregated data and makes your queries lightning fast. Tip 11. Leverage the information schema. Check out tables, views or store procedures metadata. Use built-in information schemas instead of running custom queries. And then you have it, all the 11 quick tips to optimize your BigQuery performance. Make sure to like and subscribe for more tech tips.